Hey guys, today we are going to discuss on a topic biosynthesis of peptidoglycan. So by the name itself, we can understand what is the meaning of peptidoglycan. It is a peptide and glycan chain combination. Okay, so this glycan is nothing but it is a sugar. It is made up of two types of sugar that is NAM and NAG, which is uh, cross-linked with the peptide bonds. Okay, so it is a combination of sugars where it is cross-linked with the peptide bonds. Ma the main function of this peptidoglycan is to provide the rigidity to the cell wall. Mainly it is present in the gram-positive uh, bacteria where it contains 40 layers of peptidoglycan. Okay, so by ensuring the mechanical strength, as it is present in the 40 layers, it ensures the mechanical strength of the entire cell. Okay, so it also provides sufficient plasticity to the cell. Also, it allows cell growth and cell division. Okay, it also protects from the osmotic pressure and the cell lysis. Okay, mainly this peptidoglycan is nothing but it is a heteropolymer of sugar and amino acids. As I said already, the sugars are NAM and NAG and uh, NAM consists of a certain amino acids like L-alanine, D-glutamine, L-lysine and D-alanine. So these amino acids are linked with the sugars okay, with the help of peptide bonds. And this NAM and NAG is cross-linked by the glycosidic bond. Here you have to understand that these sugars are cross-linked with amino acid. Which sugar? NAM. NAM is uh, cross-linked with amino acids with the help of peptide bonds. And these two sugars are cross-linked by, I mean, these two, two sugars are connected by the glycosidic bond. Okay? So, this is the structure of peptidoglycan. Now, let's see about the detailed structure of peptidoglycan layer and its biosynthesis. So, peptidoglycan layer is formed by glycan strands, that is NAM and NAG. This is NAM and this is NAG, which is linked by 1,4 glycosidic bond. This is NAM and this is NAG, which is bounded by 1,4 glycosidic bond. Okay, so NAM is modified form of uh, NAG. Okay, so where the lactyl group, this is the lactyl group which is positioned in the third carbon and attached to the tetrapeptide. Okay, so here we have to understand this NAM is the modification of the NAG and here in NAM it consists of these amino acids. Okay, so in um, as we see to these uh, biosynthesis of peptidoglycan, it is a complex process which involves certain enzyme. This enzyme, use of this enzyme is to catalyze the process. Mainly this uh, biosynthesis takes place uh, in two structures that is inside the cytoplasm and inner and outer membrane of the cytoplasm. Okay, so it occurs in the two stages in stage one and stage two. In stage one, it occurs in the cytosol where the synthesis of precursor takes place. Okay, precursor means the carbohydrates and the amino acid metabolism takes place in the stage 1. And in stage 2, it happens in the inner and outer um, uh, layer of the cytoplasm, where the assembly and polymerization of uh, disaccharide peptide is born. Okay, this uh, monomer is formed. Uh, that means uh, the formation of this L-alanine, D-glutamine, uh, L-lysine, all these amino acids are formed in the stage 2. And this will lead to the biosynthesis of peptidoglycan layer. Okay, hope you understood this. As I said already, biosynthesis occurs in two stages. Okay, so in first stage, it occurs in the cytosol. Okay, to prepare this um, amino sugars, fructose 6-phosphate is needed. Okay, so that fructose 6-phosphate is gained from the glutamine, which is a kind of amino acids. So, this function of this glutamine is to provide uh, sugar called fructose 6-phosphate which leads to the initiation of the biosynthesis of peptidoglycan layer. Okay, so with the help of glucosamine 6-phosphate synthase enzyme, fructose 6-phosphate is converted to glucosamine 6-phosphate. Okay, with the help of glucosamine synthase enzyme. And the next stage, isomerization takes place. The meaning of isomerization is um, the sugars will have the same chemical composition, but 
it differs with the structure okay so the 6 phosphate is converted into 1 phosphate with the help of enzyme called phosphoglucosamine mutase enzyme okay the main function is to uh, isomerate isomerate the uh, structure okay so acetyl transferase enzyme the main function of this acetyl transferase enzyme is to transfer the acetyl group okay from acetyl coa it transfers acetyl group to the lysine amino acid okay so this glucosamine 1 phosphate will change i mean will convert to n acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate with the help of acetyl transferase enzyme that is glucosamine uridine it is a kind of enzyme which transfers acetyl group. So, here there is no acetyl group. With the help of acetyl transferase enzyme, it transfers the acetyl group to the um, compound, to this phosphate. Now, this entire N-acetyl glucosamine 1-phosphate is called monophosphatase. Okay. So, next stage is to uh, is this monophosphate phosphate is attacked by UTP okay so UTP is a kind of uh, pyrimidine nucleotide which acts as an energy source so when this UT, U, UTP is attacked this inorganic pyrophosphate is given off okay and um, here the N-acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate is there right so this 1 phosphate will be utilized utilized okay to convert UTP to UDP so now this uh, 1 phosphatase will reduce and uh, UDP so this this is needed for the UTP to convert to UDP so UTP is converted to UDP now we have UDP and UDP uh, N-acetyl glucosamine this phosphate is will replaced by the N-acetyl glucosamine. Now the entire compound is UDP glucose N-acetyl glucosamine is formed. Now this is the precursor. So this is the precursor. The first stage is completed here. So this UDP N-acetyl glucosamine is an important compound in the chitin and glycoprotein in eukaryotes. Okay. So, it is main, the main component in the eukaryote uh, and for this also this precursor is formed where it uh, helps in the initiation of the biosynthesis. Okay. So, now the precursor is formed. Okay. So, this precursor helps in the initiation of the formation of the amino acid present in the NAM. So, we all know this NAM consists of the amino acid. Okay. So, for the initiation of which is uh, cross-linked by the peptide bonds so it consists of the four amino acid so pentapeptide is formed with the help of the precursor okay so now let's see it in detail how this pentapeptide is formed with the help of precursor okay now the precursor is uh, udp n-acetyl glucosamine is a precursor and uh, now the fifth stage is i mean fifth step is addition of lactyl group to the glucosamine okay so addition of lactyl group in sense uh, in this uh, c3 hydroxyl group where the uh, amino acid are formed is called a c3 carbon so it removes the inorganic phosph phosphate in presence of the enzyme mu a and mu z here you have to understand this peptidoglycan is also called uh, also known as murin okay so this murin um, helps as the catalyst okay it catalyzes the reaction where it uh, it will remove the inorganic phosphate okay so udp n-acetyl glucosamine in the presence of mu a and mu uh, z okay enzyme it will reduce or it will add the lactyl group lactyl group here is enol pyruvate with the help of polyenol pyruvate it adds addition of lactyl group is uh, happening here so, with the precursor, this enol pyruvate, that is lactyl group is uh, add, added. So, in next stage, um, reduction catal catalyzed. That means this enol pyruvate is being reduced to the mu, mu enzyme. Okay. So, using one equivalent NADPH, that is energy molecule, this reduction creates a lactyl ether of the N-acetyl muramic UDP. Okay. 
so now this uh, entire um, compound that is uh, precursor and enol pyruvate with the help of mu enzyme it is it is replaced this enol pyruvate and glucosamine is replaced by mu okay so now udp mu and acetyl is formed okay so this helps in the uh, addition of uh, amino acid like uh, it provides uh, like uh, l alanine d glutamine l lysine and d alanine is uh, added to this um, to this compound to form pentapeptide okay so now in the uh, seventh stage this udp mu n acetyl with the help of mu uh, c so see here uh, the mu enzyme acts as the uh, in um, catalyst this catalyzes this the reaction okay so mu uh, udp mu n acetyl will add l alanine first okay l l alanine is added first and with the help of mu d uh d glutamine is added so two sugars are formed that is called dipeptide okay udp mu n acetyl dipeptide is formed and um, in the third amino acid is formed in the next stage with the help of mu e okay with the help of uh, mu e with this dipeptide this tripeptide that is l lysine is formed okay now the third uh, amino acid l lysine is formed and in fourth stage the this entire amino acid is formed that is uh, udp mu uh, n acetyl tripeptide with uh, an addition of one more amino acid is added so that will lead to the pentapeptide with the help of mu f okay now entire nam is prepared here okay the nam consists of the sugars that is i mean amino acid that is l alanine d glutamine l lysine and d alanine is formed with the help of these mu enzyme pentapeptide is formed hope you understand and next comes the stage 2 in stage 2 only it is happening in the inner and outer membrane of the cytoplasm okay so in stage 2 uh, this this uh, compound that is udp mu n acetyl pentapeptide is attached to the lipid carrier here lipid carrier is bacteriopyrinol or um, anticarpinol okay so th this is the lipid carrier which carries this uh, pentapeptide okay so now this is joined this compound and this carrier is joined by the pyrophosphate bond with the help of mu y okay so this pentapeptide is joined by pyrophosphate in bond with the help of mu y enzyme to the lipid carrier bacteriopyrinol okay so now udp nam pentapeptide is uh, joined i mean it is converted to bacteriopyrinol pyrophosphate nam pentapeptide with the help of mu y okay so in the next stage udp that this is not udf this is udp transfers nac to the bacteriopyrinol so this is uh, considered as a lipid one layer and next is a uh, formation of lipid two that is mu g interbridge formation occurs at the cytoplasmic membrane now here interbridge is uh, formed okay um at the cytoplasmic these stages are happening in the cytoplasmic membrane now this bacteriopyrinol that is uh, formation of nag has happened now the formation of nag has to be proceeded okay so only then uh, peptidoglycan layer will be completed okay so after the formation of nam pentapeptide uh, this with the help of mu g nag is added okay nag uh, nag is added to this bacteriopyrinol phos for uh, i mean pyrophosphate nam pentapeptide and nag is formed nag is joined and this is considered as the lipid 2 okay and now here flipase enzyme is acting flipase enzyme is to uh, the i mean mode of action of of flipase enzyme is bacteriopyrinol moves to back cross okay membrane it loses one phosphate becomes bacteriopyrinol new cycle begins so flipase enzyme will um, what to say with will move this bacteriopyrinol okay move this bacteriopyrinol where it belongs to okay now this nam and nag will be um, will be formed and this new cycle start beginning begin okay 
so lipid 2 is considered as the peptidoglycan layer okay so hope this video helps you all thank you